Hi, Emily here from Homemade Emily Jane. And today I'm very excited because I get to share with you a little bit about my latest quilting obsession, EQ8. If you saw my previous video, I shared a little bit about just how to make quilt mock-ups in general. I share lots of different options that you can use for making your quilt mock-up, anything from a physical piece of paper and crayons to more advanced digital software programs. So let me dive into just one specific software that I have truly fallen in love with since getting started using it. EQ8, also known as Electric Quilt 8, is a software program for designing quilts and making quilt mockups. You can use EQ8 to color in quilts before you actually start sewing or to start and design an entire quilt from scratch. So it's very powerful, very cool, and I was a little bit intimidated at first. So I'm hoping that maybe if you're familiar with the program but maybe a little scared to dive in, that this video can help kind of ease some of those fears. Before we dive in, I do have a little confession to make. I was one of those people that was very intimidated by this program at first. The Electric Quilt Company has been around for many, many years, long before I became a quilter. And I actually used to have one of their software programs. It's an older one called EQ Mini. And I never learned how to use it. I was so intimidated that I gave up so quickly. And this time around, we have a different story and I'm really excited to share that it's way easier to learn than I first thought it would be. So I hope that that gives you a little bit of encouragement as well as we get started learning all that there is to know about EQ8. Now that I know how to use it, at least to some level of functionality, I am shocked that I didn't learn how to use EQ8 any sooner. And I'm really excited about all of the features and functionality that I'll get to share with you here today. Throughout this tutorial, I'll share a couple key things. And if you wanna fast forward to a specific segment, go ahead and use the chapters here on YouTube. That'll help you find a section that you might be looking for and kind of skip ahead. But we'll start off by sharing why to use Electric Quilt 8 as a software program, finding out if it's the right one for you. I'll also share some of my favorite resources for learning how to use EQ8, many of them directly from the Electric Quilt Company. They've done a really good job. After sharing a little bit about how to learn EQ8 and my personal thoughts and opinions on it, we'll also dive into a quick step-by-step -step of how to make a quilt mock-up using EQ8. I really love this program because of how easy it is to make mock-ups and how time-saving it is, so you can spend less time designing the quilts and more time actually making them. Finally, I'm also gonna share my three favorite coloring shortcuts for the electric quilt software program that makes making those mock-ups really fast efficient and fun all right are you ready to learn about eq8 let's go ahead and get started first off why do i use eq8 and why might you consider using it first off it is a software program for designing quilts so whether you are a quilt pattern designer like myself or a hobby quilter that just wants to see your quilts um, in a digital rendering before you start buying fabric and investing all your time and money into the project, this is a great program to help visualize your quilts before you get started. Using a digital software program for mocking up your quilts like EQ8 is super helpful because it saves so much time and effort. This second reason you might consider using it is really the endless possibilities. The software program comes preloaded with tons of quilt blocks of any different type of technique that you can think of. So I do mostly traditional piecing, um, patchwork where you do your typical quarter inch seam, but EQ8 block library also has tons of other um, foundational paper piecing and other techniques that you might consider. And it comes preloaded with anything you can think of block wise and as a modern quilter a really helpful tool is that you can draw your own blocks too so many of my quilt patterns um, use some basic shapes that come together into a block that's not a typical quilt block so i can use just the draw a quilt block tool and sketch out my designs there so really endless possibilities endless creativity to express yourself and the third reason i think i've already mentioned this but you can create really fast and efficient quilt mock-ups using EQ8 and it's just saves so much time. It gives you the ability to visualize your quilt. And if you're a quilt shop 
owner, maybe you're selling different fabric lines or bundles or collections, it makes making those quilt mock-ups so fast so that you can help give your customers a project idea for what they can make with the fabrics. So whether you are a quilt shop owner, a pattern designer, or a hobby quilter, I'm sure EQ8 offers something of value for you. Next up, let's talk about how to learn EQ8. As I mentioned in the beginning, I was really intimidated and I've heard that from a lot of people as well. So if you're intimidated by the prospect of learning this new software program, I just really want to say that it's not as scary as you think it is. The Electric Quilt Company, the makers of the Electric Quilt software program, have tons of resources available to you, um, both free and paid options. So let me kind of dive into what I personally found the most helpful as I started learning the program. First off, there's a demo video that I really think you should watch. I'll go ahead and link it right here for you. This video is only like 18 minutes long and I found it really helpful for kind of just getting my bearings around the program and where to get started. If videos aren't really your thing or maybe if you like having written out step-by-step -step instructions with photos to reference. There are also a few resource guides that you want to check out. They're free to download. Um, the, the one that I found really helpful is called the EQ8 Quick Start Guide, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can download that PDF. There's also a manual that you can download as well. In addition to those PDFs, there's also a very extensive library of resources, articles, uh, based on different topics available at support.electricquilt.com. So if you check out that website, I'll put a link for it below as well for you. Um, you can search any topic that you might be struggling with and it'll pop up an article to give you step-by-step -step instructions to walk you through it. I definitely did that a few times when I was trying to upload fabric swatches into the program and also as I got started building out some of my modern quilt designs that require more of like a custom set rather than just standard blocks. So definitely check out the support side of the electric quilt website. It'll be super helpful. Next, there are some paid options as well for learning the electric quilt program. There are some books that you can work through, workbooks, and then also classes offered both in person or online. So I'll post a link in the description below for you for where you can find those specific resources as well. I personally found everything that I needed to know so far just through the free resources, but if you want to gain like a really in-depth understanding of the program, I highly recommend checking out some of those paid options. Finally, extra EQ8 support. If you have specific questions that you're just not finding the answers to online and you really need to find that answer quickly, the support team at the Electric Quilt Company has been really invaluable for me. You can reach out to them via chat or phone. I personally really love the chat option because they get back to you so quickly and you can continue kind of clicking around in the meantime trying to figure it out. So I highly recommend if you get stuck just reaching, reaching out to them. They'll give you direct links to the articles um, and then they'll, they'll help you walk through every step of the process too. It's really beneficial. So now that I've shared some resources with you, I hope you find all of those very helpful with learning the software program. I know I sure did. We'll walk through just the basics of how you can get started creating a quilt mock-up in EQ8. So I'll go ahead and walk you through step-by-step, step, but maybe you might wanna consider designing your own quilt too. This will just give you a little demo, a taste of the product itself. So here's just a little demo using EQ8, how to get started with your first design. Of course, there are tons of other resources out there as well that I highly recommend checking out. And I'll include just some basic step-by-steps over on my website as well. And I'll link that in the description for you. So first you open EQ8 and you'll get a screen that looks something like this. You'll have a design quilt section, a blocks section, and a fabric section. And then you'll also see here um, quilt work table, block work table, and image work table. So the first thing I like to do is click on design a quilt from scratch. This you'll get all different options at the top here for different uh, types of quilts you can um, build. If you're doing a block based quilt, like a horizontal or on point, those are some very common ones. I found with my modern quilt patterns, 
that using some of the more custom, this custom set is a great option because it gives you just a blank workspace to drag and drop blocks into. Um, but some of mine are block based. So we'll start here with this block based style. And you'll see when we go to the layout tab, we can no longer change the quilt style, but we are starting with the hor horizontal. We can change how many blocks we have. We can change the size of the blocks. When I put keep the width and height equal, it moves them both at the same pace. So let's just say we have 12 inch blocks. So then it tells you up here the entire size of the quilt, which is really nifty. Um, this is the center layout, not including the border. Um, so 60 by 72 is just the blocks on the inside. And you can add sashing down here as well um, if you choose to. So we'll add some sashing, maybe two inch sashing. Next, you'd go to borders. I'm not gonna do any borders here but maybe we want to add binding. So I like to add binding. I do a mitered border. You see across the top different border options. The mitered border makes it look just like binding would here. And I make it a quarter inch, so it's nice and thin. Next, you go to um, design. And this is where we add our blocks in. Um, I'm just now realizing I didn't add sashing in the same way that I wanted to. So we're going to add two inches of sashing here. And that actually makes the quilt a little bigger than I want, 72 by 86. So I just take out one row of blocks and here we are back to 72 inches square. So really easy to manipulate how many blocks and how big the sizes are. So back to design, we can add our quilt blocks in. It gives you some options here and then there's a whole library of options too. So for instance, if you wanted to search for a specific type of block, you can search it. I'd search by note card and then just type in whatever I'm looking for. Maybe it's flying geese, maybe it's half square triangles, maybe it's an economy quilt block. Whatever you're looking for, you can type it in and search and then it'll find all of those for you. But I'll go ahead and just do something really simple and basic here. We'll do this star. And I know there's a way to put it in all of them at one time, but I forgot. So I'll just click all the blocks and then we'll color it in. This is where things get really fun. I go to the fabric tools tab up here at the top. It comes preloaded with fabrics. There are ways that you can load in your own as well. It's really not that difficult. You can go to your library. It comes preloaded with lots of different fabrics. Um, Manufacturer Basics are really nice. If you're a fan of those um, art gallery solids, those are gorgeous. So whatever you want to add to your swatches here, you would just click on it and then put, put add to sketchbook. You'll see it erased itself here, but it pops up in this little bar right here. So we're gonna use that Pure Elements solid we're gonna use the swap color feature. This is really cool. And everywhere we see this bright blue, we are going to make it that uh, Pure Elements fabric. So then you would do that same thing with any other areas in your quilt that you want to color in. I'm just doing this quick for you. And then we'll do a solid white fabric background, just white, all of that, all of that all of that. We can do however we want. So lots of different options. You can color in, you can see your previous colors up here. Um, I'll use the paintbrush tool here to color in our binding. And then you can go ahead and view it with the grid or without the grid. And you can easily export it as an image onto your computer and save it wherever you want. So that's a little bit about how to get started and just a quick little demo of the software program. Finally, let me share with you three coloring shortcuts that you can use when creating your quilt mock-ups in EQ8. EQ8 offers a variety of shortcuts for making it super easy and efficient, and these are just some that I personally love the best. First off, the paintbrush tool. If you're using the paintbrush tool, you'll click on the paintbrush tool within the fabric tools toolbar. 
and then you'll select fabric from the fabric library or just the solid colors that they have preloaded and you can color in individual shapes one at a time using that paintbrush tool um, because I am a quilt pattern designer, I'll reference the pattern. I'll see how many shapes of a specific color I need. I'll color all those in. And then I'll use my next favorite shortcut, the swap color feature. The swap color feature is really neat because it'll swap out every existing color. So for instance, if you have a specific shade of pink filled in or a specific fabric filled in in 20 different places in your quilt, if you click swap color and then click on the new color that you want it to be and click one of those areas, it'll swap all of them at one time. It's really, really incredible. So that's a really fast way to take a mock-up that you already have and just change out the colors really quickly. And finally, my third favorite shortcut is the randomize coloring tool. This is fun because you kind of don't know what to expect. You just hit randomize, then you click anywhere in your quilt, and the software program chooses what colors it wants to be. So I've, I've found quite a few that are not exactly the colors that I would pick, but you can continue clicking randomize until you find a selection that you kind of vibe with. And then from there, you can use the swap color tool. So you like the general overall feel, but there's a color or two that you don't love. You can swap those out really easily using the swap color tool that I mentioned earlier. Using these little shortcuts makes it really fast to create a quick quilt mock-up um, using fabrics or just solid colors as well. I hope you found this little review of the Electric Quilt software program helpful. Maybe you're considering getting EQ8 for yourself. I do have an affiliate link you're welcome to purchase through. It helps support me and my business. I'll go ahead and put it in the description below for you if you would like to purchase through my link. I really appreciate the support. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. If you want to find more quilting tips, tricks, and tutorials, make sure you check out homemadeemilyjane.com and maybe connect with me over on social media as well. Instagram is my personal favorite. You can find me on Instagram at homemadeemilyjane. Happy sewing!